thinking Trump just did it. It hasn't been done since Great Recession. So much winning by Cat Stevens for FreedomDaily.com. For far too long, the American people have had leaders who have little or no experience in the real world economy, but not anymore. If there's one thing that President Trump knows a whole lot about, it's how to run a business. The American economy has long been the envy of other countries for how successful businesses can be within it. Sadly, the success has hit some potholes over the past few years that were dug by federal overreach and the declining trust of Americans in the government. Thanks to the hard work of Trump's administration, though, that trust is beginning to be restored, and with the trust comes a healthy economy once again. Not only is the new administration decreasing the national debt and lowering taxes on those who are creating jobs, they're overall making the United States a better place to do business once again. While that uptick in morale might not seem like it would be would have like a very big impact on a national scale, history tells us that it does. When national morale and hope for the future is up, people spend more, and when they spend more, the economy gets better, which makes for a better outlook, even more hope and trust in spending, etc., etc. And though conservatives have known for quite some time that President Trump would have this effect eventually, the big surprise is just how quickly these changes happened. The Gateway Pundit reports that this holiday season has been one of the best in years, but you won't be hearing that from the mainstream media. Why? Because it's not good for their Trump is destroying the world narrative and everything must bow to that. Retailers are reporting record holiday sales this season of $598 billion as of Christmas Eve. Fueled by confidence in the pro-business, pro-jobs economic policies uh, of President Donald Trump, of cutting Obama-era regulations and enacting major tax cuts and reforms. Yet, media reports by CB, AP, and the Wall Street Journal all fail to mention President Trump in their reports on the record sales. The Drudge Report, however, is leading Monday night uh, with a photo and headline crediting Trump with the boom in sales over a link to the Wall Street Journal article that doesn't credit Trump. Great again, retailers feel Christmas cheer. There you go from the Drudge Report. CBS News reported Monday night without mentioning Trump at all. Total retail sales this holiday season added up to a record $598 billion, up $33 billion from last year. This is literally the best season since before the recession, business owner Craig Johnson said Johnson's company, Customer Growth Partners, analyzes all things retail. He credits low unemployment and a booming stock market for this humbug-free holiday season. The single biggest drive of retail sales is growth in real disposable income, he said, and when real income goes up, people have money in their pocket and they're able to spend it. The AP also cited Johnson about the sales boom and failed to mention Trump at all. Experts have issued rosy forecasts for the season. Shoppers seem to be in the mood with unemployment at a 17-year uh, low. And, uh, and consumer sentiment at its highest level since 2000. Shoppers have been spending at a pace not seen since the Great Recession, says Craig Johnson, president of retail consulting group Customer Growth Partners. Using a different source, the Wall Street Journal, also via Fox Business, reported sales were up about uh, almost 5%, but did not mention Trump at all. Retailers are enjoying some extra Christmas cheer. Fueled by high consumer confidence and a robust job market, U.S. retail sales in the holiday period rose at their best pace since 2011, according to MasterCard Spending Plus, which tracks both online and in-store spending. Sales, excluding automobiles, rose by 
4.9% from November 1st through Christmas compared with the 37 gain in the same period last year, according to the MasterCard Inc. unit, which tracks all forms of payments. Uh, E-commerce continued to drive the gains rising 18.1%. Unlike in past years when spending was driven by high income shoppers, this holiday season a broader swath of the population opened their wallets encouraged by rising wages and low unemployment analysts and economists said. Fewer people are living paycheck to paycheck, said Chris Christopher, executive director of economic research firm IHS Market. There is a lot more spending from the lower and middle class, uh, income groups while the upper income groups are splurging. The failure of the media to even mention President Trump's policies as a factor in the record holiday sales is yet another example why his poll numbers are low. In contrast, the media gave former President Barack Obama for every uh, meager sign of growth such that it was. As you can see, there is a clear agenda in the world of broadcast journalism, and it's not to keep you informed, it's to keep you scared of conservatism. That is uh, very interesting. Very interesting that they didn't mention Trump's policies. I mean, and uh, yes, and they were gl uh, uh, always glowing about Obama, you know? I mean, it, it's, you know, it's sickening, and it's sad, too, to, you know... To say the least, it's sad uh, to not mention the president when he was involved in this. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.